Once upon a time, in a certain mansion, there was the maid who loved the cat very much. This maid picks up a poor abandoned cat and has begun to keep it. But the proprietress of this mansion hates cats and hits and kicks only having come near. Why do you keep a cat? Put out the cat. Immediately. However, a maid is not going to throw away a cat even if told by a proprietress no matter how much. Therefore the proprietress who got angry said at last. I have you leave if you do not throw away a cat. The maid has been completely in trouble what she should do. Then a cat disappeared suddenly how it was what I did. Do it, do it, I was refreshed in this, the proprietress was pleased. But a maid became very lonely. She thought of a cat every single day and lived in sorrow. One day the Buddhist priest of the trip came over and asked a maid. What happened? You do not seem to have spirit, what happened? The maid talks about the cat which loved there. Was it you that loved that cat? Don't worry. The cat lives in this heart of a mountain. He comforted her. When a maid heard it, she wanted to encounter a cat by all means. So she got time only all day long and went out to the crowd of which said Buddhist priests. But, in a large mountain, she does not know where the cat is at all. While she was looking for her cat here and there, a day has completely gone down. Just then a woodcutter came along. I'm sorry, is there a log cabin or something which can stay at this neighborhood? She asked. It should overcharge on this way. He answered. It showed a light and appeared in the big mansion when I advanced as it was tell. There will be a mansion why in such a mountain? When a maid wondered and looked, a beautiful woman came out of the inside. A maid lowered the head and said. I want to encounter the cat which I loved, but a day goes down and is in trouble. Please put me up overnight tonight. And so, the beautiful woman becomes the terrible face in a moment. And groan. Do you want to be eaten and killed, too? She said. Aiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
therefore the maid stood up unintentionally when heard it. I disguise myself and am a cat mansion here. In this situation eaten and killed in now. When a maid gathered up baggage in a hurry, she was going to get away from the room in secret. Then one cat entered there. It is the cat which a maid loved when she see a face incidentally. Well, you. A maid forgot to be scared and called a cat. Then the cat said in a human voice. Master. Welcome to my place. But I cannot come back to that mansion anymore. As I have completely got old, I am decided that live with a friend here come back, without saying such a thing. When there is not you, it is unbearable that I am lonely. If that mansion is no use, we may live together in other mansions. Thank you. I never forget your favor. But it is success in life of the cat to come here. It is the very old cat mansion where a cat chosen from all over Japan comes over to here. Because all which there is here are cats tormented by a human being, it is not revealed what they do to you. Well, please escape while waving this before it's too late, and the cat gave a white parcel. I understood it. Then take care of yourselves. A maid of the mansion when went out, gathered while thousands of cats howling, and saying. When a maid waved a white parcel, the cats opened away all at once. Thanks to that, the maid was able to go down the mountain safely. By the way, when she went home and opened the parcel, the picture of the dog was written inward, and they, strangely, Dog added ten pieces of genuine oval gold coins. Well, what happened such a large money? A proprietress visited in wonder. Therefore the maid talked about having encountered a cat in detail. Then, I'll go to the mountain, too. I of the master will get hundred pieces if you of the maid are ten pieces of oval gold coins. She climbed the mountain without hearing that a maid stopped a proprietress on the next day. She appeared in front of a big mansion as a maid said before long. Hello, I came to encounter the cat which I loved. A beautiful woman came out of the inside. The woman looks at a proprietress searchingly and goes down immediately in a mansion. And grandmother came out soon. Grandmother fed a proprietress hot rice in the same way as a maid and spread it to futon. By the way, it is the midnight. Though a proprietress did not hear a voice, she opened paper sliding door neighboring room. Then there are two big cats there and glares still at this. Gawk. The proprietress opened next room paper sliding door in a hurry. Then there are two big cats there and scowls at a proprietress searchingly. Eyes shine glitteringly and seem to jump to be grabbed at any moment. It is already more than an oval gold coin. The proprietress was going to run away, but she is unable to stand up and cannot move. When a awa, awa, awa. Proprietress shook, the cat which was in one's mansion there entered. Oh, I wanted to see you. Well, let's return together, and the proprietress talked to a cat desperately. As for the cat, don't say barefaced thing. You tormented me well for a long time. She said and leap upon proprietress and bit a windpipe. Erg. 
The proprietress that a throat was bitten off became bloody and seems to have died. <laughs>